What's up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. And what I can honestly say that right now I am beyond words of being disgusted. Sorry, I don't have my mouse plugged in, so I'm having to do this like slowly one at a time while I invite you guys, but there's a reason why I'm severely disgusted with a handful of my fans, and no, I'm not naming any names. But, like, you guys know who you are. As I said, I'm not naming names, but there's, I just caught wind of something that needs to be spoken about. Yo, shout out to my boy Matt. What's good, buddy? It's going good, man. But uh, right now, I can honestly say that I am disgusted beyond words with some of my own fans. As you guys know, social media plays a very big part of my life. As I am in the music industry, I produce music, I create instrumentals, I create beats, I produce beats, I write, I record. So, you know, I'm constantly, you know, on social media. And as you guys know, I'm a very, very big avid follower and very huge fan of the Van Lincoln Park, and as you guys know, Chester Bennington is one of my biggest, if not the biggest influence of my music and my career. And as you know, I follow his son, Jamie, on Instagram, and I talk to him every now and then. Like, he's a really good kid. He's really cool. Like, he's a really nice guy. But what... I saw him post on Instagram about some of you guys disgusted me. Like I said, I'm not naming any names, but you guys know who you are. What I don't understand is why you guys feel you have the right to attack Jamie and his dad and their family. Like, you guys got all these conspiracies about how Chester died and stuff like that. And, and I get it. You know, that's your conspiracy. That's your right to, you know, have that opinion. But the fact of the matter is, these conspiracies need to stop. He died by suicide. End of discussion. You guys need to let that shit go. And y'all need to stop attacking Jamie like you guys are doing. That shit disgusts me. When you guys go and attack him like that, you guys aren't just representing yourselves. You're making me look like a fool. And I don't need that kind of reputation. Like, you guys make me sick attacking Jamie like that for no fucking reason. And I agree with him when he did say on social media, on Instagram, that he will call you guys out. And I don't blame him. You know, it's been several years since Chester's death. And for you guys to sit there and blatantly attack his family for no fucking reason, but just to try to prove a fucking conspiracy that isn't even true, it's downright disgusting and vile. See what you guys that are making these conspiracy theories up about, you know, what you guys don't realize is that Chester had very real mental issues going on with him, some of which some of us may never truly understand. And unfortunately, those things that he was dealing with got to him and he couldn't handle it. So he ended his own life. Yo, Aaron, what's good, bro? Hey, Angel, what's going on, sis? Greg, what's good, bro? Hey, Sam. But 
you know, to my fans that have been attacking him, I'm asking you guys to please stop. He doesn't want to deal with it because he's just trying to live his life the best that he can. Yes, he's in the studio with the guys and re-recording some of his dad's old stuff, but that's because he's trying to keep his father's legacy alive. He's doing it for his father, not for, you know, anyone else, but he's doing it to keep his father's legacy alive because that's one of the things that he enjoyed was being around his dad and being around the music, and he wanted to follow in his dad's footsteps and continue that on. And for those of you that are fans of mine that have been attacking Jamie and the Bennington family, you guys are fucking sick. You guys have no right or reason attacking his family like that. Like, how would you guys feel if you were in that position, if that was you? How would you feel? You guys wouldn't want them doing that to you. So why do that to someone else? I don't understand. Like, it, it's sickening. Like, what do you guys get out of attacking someone on Facebook, whether it be, you know, Chester's son, Jamie, or whether it be anybody? Like, what do you guys gain out of that? Like, what do you gain from that? Oh, damn, I hope you get better, Angel. But, like, I just, I don't understand what the hell you guys get out of attacking someone like that. Making assumptions that aren't true. Making up conspiracies that have been proven false. I mean, you guys are constantly saying, yeah, yeah and I'll admit, yeah, you're right. The deaths of Chris Cornell and Chester do add up. But you guys got to understand, Chris Cornell was a very, very close friend to Chester. Not only in music, but outside of music. They were very close friends. Chris was one of Chester's best friends. And when Chris died, Chester lost a part of it. And then when that mark came around for the anniversary of Chris's death, he couldn't handle it. It was too much for him to bear. So I'm asking all of you that have attacked him. As I said, I'm not naming any names, but you know who you are. I'm asking you guys, not just on behalf of Jamie and his family, but as representatives of me, to please stop attacking him and other people. I understand you guys have your conspiracies. I get that. And like I said, you're entitled to your opinion. I get it. But when it comes to attacking someone else for no reason, but just to try to prove a conspiracy theory is fucked up. And the one thing that he did say that I agree that is very fucked up that I've seen firsthand myself is some of you guys are going around saying that it was because of Jamie that Chester's dead, and that's not true. It is not because of Jamie that Chester's dead. It's because Chester cannot handle what he was dealing with. He was dealing with a lot of mental issues, and I mean a lot. He not only lost one of his best friends, but he was battling alcoholism and memories of child abuse as a kid. Like he was dealing with a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't understand and probably never will understand. He couldn't handle it and that's not his fault. So you guys that are attacking Jamie and attacking their family or in general, attacking anyone or anyone's family. In general. This shit needs to stop. It's disgusting. It's disgraceful. And honestly, you make yourself look like a pitiful idiot when you do that. Because you guys got to think about something. When you guys go out and attack on people like that. 
when you guys go and attack these people for no reason, do you guys not realize that that shit comes back to me? Because you guys are my fans. I expected better out of you guys. I expected you guys to look out for each other and be kind to one another. Not sit there and tear each other apart like fucking animals. Like, you guys don't know how disgusted I am by what you guys have done. As I said, I don't know Jamie personally. I've only talked to him a few times through Instagram. But those few times that I have, you know, talked to him through Instagram, he's a genuinely good guy. He is genuinely honest. And he's just a normal guy trying to live his life. He's trying to carry on his father's dream. Just like I do for my brothers that have passed. You know, just like I do for my mentor and best friend, Coda, that passed away last year in March. Exact same thing. The exact same thing. And this is what I don't get. You guys don't go around attacking... And he, like, you guys don't attack me about, you know, Coda's death. So why attack Jamie when you guys know damn well it ain't his fault? I understand that you guys miss Chester. We all do. You don't think that there aren't days that I don't fucking break down? You don't think there aren't days that I sit there and I listen to Lincoln Park all fucking day long? You guys don't think that Chester wasn't one of the people that saved my fucking life in high school? Chester was one of my heroes. As well as one of my biggest influences. And for you guys to attack him like that is pitiful, disgusting, and downright degrading. And I don't understand how you guys can sit there and do it as if it doesn't have repercussions. But the fact of the matter is, it does have repercussions. But you guys don't realize it. Like, it's it's sickening. I'm very disappointed in all of you that did attack Jamie. I'm very disappointed and I'm very disgusted with every single one of you. And I'm ashamed to say that you guys are fans. For those of you that attacked him, I'm very ashamed to say that you guys are my fans. I expected better out of you guys. I expected you guys to act like adults, not fucking kids in grade school. Like I said, you would never, you guys don't attack me. Or Coda's family for Coda's death. So why do that to someone else? They don't deserve that. Nobody does. Whether it's someone huge like Jamie. Or anyone else in general. Y'all need to stop this bullshit. And y'all need to start treating each other with fucking respect. I understand that you guys have your opinions. And you're entitled to those opinions. I get it. But at the end of the day, those conspiracy theories that you guys sit there and still go on and on about several years later, they've been proven false many times over. Every conspiracy theory that you guys have put out about how he died or why he died have already been proven false. His son Draven even came out along with Jamie and said that yes, his father, their father did die from suicide. Chester did die from suicide. It was not a murder. It was not anything to do with the music industry. It was him on his own. Y'all need to let this shit die. Y'all need to stop speculating on shit that's already been disproved many times over. 
Chouts is actually a very good show. I've seen, I've actually watched that quite a bit. But like I said, you know, when you guys go out and you attack someone like that, especially someone like Jamie who just lost his dad a few years ago, how do you think that makes them feel? You got something that they don't already feel bad enough but then you guys have to go and attack them again and again for no fucking reason, but just to get your fucking rocks off for whatever fucking weird ass reason. As I said, I'm not just speaking on behalf of, you know, Jamie. I'm not just speaking on behalf of, you know, one of my biggest fucking favorite rock bands in the world. And all I got to say to you, Thomas Dyke, is, hey, at least I'm famous, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if I look like I'm from Hills Have Eyes. Hey, at least I'm famous, dude. I mean, seriously, like, you literally just said I'm famous. So, yeah, <laughs> thanks for the props, dude. Fucking love it. But for all you out there, like I said, that are attacking you know, Jamie Bennington and his family about his father's death, y'all need to stop. Like, seriously, you guys need to fucking stop. Because as I said, it's very disrespectful. You guys are not representing me well at all. You guys are straight out doing the opposite. And quite frankly, you guys are making yourselves look bad along with myself. And that makes you look completely terrible like as i said you guys don't think that there are repercussions for you guys you know attacking someone like that over social media but let me tell you there are repercussions for that kind of thing it might not happen today it might not happen tomorrow but eventually those repercussions for you guys doing what you did will come back to bite you in the ass and you're not gonna like when it happens it's going to get you when you least expect it. And that's why I tell everyone that I talk to who is either a fan of mine or a fellow Lincoln Park fan that is helping someone out. Be good to each other. Be kind to each other and help each other out. And if you see someone that is being bashed on the way Jamie's being bashed on or blamed, you know, step up and say something. You know, defend that person that's being bashed on. Don't just sit by and let it happen. Stand up and fucking say something. Because chances are if you say something to that person and you don't stand up for that for that one person that needs to help, chances are they're going to help you right when you need it most. I will, for sure, Angel. But as I said... I'm very, very disgusted in all of you that attack Chester's family for no fucking reason. Like I said, I'm very ashamed to call you guys fans. And I'm very, very angry with every single one of you that attacked him. When you guys attack Jamie, that, I'm sorry, but that does not fly well with me. Whether it's Jamie, whether... It's his family or whether it's anybody in general. If I see any of you attacking someone on any social media, because you guys know I am all over social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Tumblr. I'm everywhere. And if I catch any of you doing it, I guarantee you I will put your fucking asses on blast. And I will have no problem doing it. None. Because I will not have fans that disrespect anyone the way that you guys disrespected Jamie and his family and his father's legacy. I will not stand for it. You guys stood up for me when I needed it. 
So why the fuck are you going to turn your back and attack someone like that? I don't get it. As I said, it's rude. It's distasteful. It's disgusting. It's vile. And it's wrong on every fucking level. And as I said, I see any, and I mean any of you, talking shit about someone or bashing on someone or even picking on someone on any social media, you better fucking believe I will put your ass on blast so fucking quick that your fucking head will spin. And if you don't fucking believe I'll do it, try me. And I will let it be known that the others are not to speak to you. And if you think I'm playing, like I said, try me. I'm done playing games. I'm done with the disrespect towards everyone. Y'all need to fucking stop the petty bullshit and start treating each other with respect. And start treating each other in general with the love and kindness that you guys show me. Like seriously. Grow the fuck up. Start treating each other like human beings. And start helping out each other. If you see someone that's going through a problem, talk to them. And... As for Jamie Bennington, I just want to say on behalf of my fans, I do apologize to you, and I truly am sorry for their misbehavior. What they did is wrong. And, you know, I do hope that you do continue your dad's legacy. And, you know, from all of my fans and the entire Lincoln Park Army, man, we love you, Jamie. Keep rocking your dad's music. Keep on doing it, man. Because we're all rooting for you, buddy. Every last one of us are rooting for you, man. And we can't wait to hear what you come out with. So to Jamie, I just want to say we love you, bud. And again, I do apologize for my fans and what they did to you. You didn't deserve that. You really didn't. You did not deserve that one bit. And I hope that you can, you know, see past them and just, you know, ignore them. But just know that myself, all my fans that did not attack you, that do support you, and every artist on Bloodshot Records and Killer Clown Sounds, we all support you too, man. We all love you. But with that being said, guys, I'm about to hop off here because I do have some dishes to take care of, ironically. (laughs) But uh, I'm going to knock those out, then I'm going to call my sister Angel, work on some tracks, and like I said, I do have an announcement coming within the next couple days about a possible new artist joining Bloodshot. I can't say anything other than that because I'm not sure, like I know the guy's a local here in Ohio, but I'm not sure where. Exactly here in Akron. I don't know if like he's near me on the other side of Akron. I don't know. But there is a possible new artist coming to Bloodshot Records that you guys might like. I don't know much about him, but I did look up some of his music and he's he's got some good stuff. Like he's fairly new to you know the music scene. Like he's got some great stuff. He does the same stuff I do. Like he's really good. And I mean really good. Like, you guys thought I was good. Wait till you guys hear this guy. This guy puts me, like, this guy blows my shit out of the water, like, 110%. And I'm hoping that I get to work with this guy. I'm hoping that, you know, we do sign him to Bloodshot. Like, I'm very excited for this. Hopefully, we can get in touch with him because we haven't been able to get in contact with him. But hopefully, we can. Also, March 17th, Bratley's brand new album, Fast Times, is dropping on the 17th, so be ready for that shit. 
But that being said, guys, I'm about to bounce off here, kick it, chill. Y'all already know the deal. I ain't got to say it. It's your boy Chance. I'm out. Peace.